This is code.org, and we are on a mini project. So students, paragraphs, debug paragraphs, debug, I see some a pattern here. I'm going to walk through each of these. If you're my student, you're, you're doing each of these. Uh, the P paragraph tags, or tags start at the end, are placed around text and indicate that it's part of a paragraph. Placing text between paragraphs start and then tags lets the computer know that it should be treated differently, often just spacing together. So we're going to use a paragraph tag to separate into different paragraphs. Let's see if we can tell where they go. So we have the heading here. Oh, and it looks like, so notice they have put line breaks. So they hit enter. That's a fancy way to say enter in here. But it doesn't appear that way over here on the page because this is where we can type. And this is what the web page would actually look like. Now, if we want to make a tag, I'm going to go a uh, less than sign, which is less to the letter M. I held shift to do this less than sign, then the letter P, and then shift and the greater than sign. This isn't going to work yet because that's just the opening tag. I also need a closing tag. And there we are. Now, I could do it like this, but oftentimes what you're going to see is I might leave the line break like it was and put it on the same line. You'll often see it done in this way. And it could look a bit cleaner. It's personal preference. The code, the HTML, will function the same. So that looks good. That's one paragraph. I would assume they want a second one here. So again, boop, boop, boop. And way down here, just always make sure you put a forward slash and not a backslash. The forward slash is next to the uh, shift key. It's over near the letter L, but it is the forward slash, not holding shift and P. And that will close the tag. Open a paragraph, close a paragraph. And once again, if you want to put it in these empty spaces, that would work fine too. It just can get a bit messier. And some teachers like it, well, a particular way. But code-wise, these would both be correct, to be clear. This is correct. This is correct. It functions identically. Oftentimes in development, you'll see different programmers do different styles, which can be frustrating to read, but doesn't mean anyone is wrong. All right, and then finally, hey, did they not have a period here or did I delete it? I don't know, but that would bother me. And boom, slash P, boom. Cool. That is looking good. Onward. Here we are, debug paragraph tag. All right, fix the code that's pink. Okay. Oh, yeah. So open and close tags. Every time you see a tag, you need an opening and a close. So here I see a paragraph open. And here's where it closes. There's no content here, though. If we do, it will be separated out because it's wrapped in paragraph tags. But here, we just have a close a paragraph. And the computer says, what in the world? Where's this paragraph start? So we're going to kind of have to take some guesses here. But I would assume, oh, notice my junk's still there. I would assume that they would want a paragraph tag around this, right? Around this sentence, maybe. So instead of having this close here, I'll make this an opening tag. And don't get scared if you have pink jump around. That doesn't mean what I just did is wrong. I'll tell you, it is not. What it's saying now is, oh, something's still broken. And what it's trying to tell us is, well, now you have this closing tag, but this one now doesn't close. So just because I fixed the first part of it and there's pink somewhere else doesn't mean I'm actually wrong. I'm just still fixing. So now let me close that paragraph tag. And again, personal style, maybe you really want it on a single line. It wouldn't matter for the tags functionality. Now, it doesn't make sense to have an open, close, and a close, right? And an open again. We'd probably just run around content. So I'm going to get rid of, I guess, this extra close tag. It's up to you. And then I need to make sure to put a slash, forward slash, which is near the letter M, there. And I can space this out just for better visibility so you see what I mean. But now each paragraph has an open and close. Depending on what the writer originally wanted to do, this code-wise, maybe I'm making assumptions and maybe they did want it all one paragraph, unless they say so up here. Regardless, but ah, onward. Debug. Okay. So we're missing a paragraph. Find and fix the problem causing the bug. So if I'm seeing pink here, I'm going to first go over, let's see, inspect. So if I see a bug over here, I'm going to first, now it's called phishing. Oh, it's not even over here. Well, look, here's an H2 where I see phishing, but I don't see any of this content. And pink is here. There being pink here does not necessarily mean this is the bug exactly here. It just means it's somewhere. 
So, oh, but what about that? It looks like that is a period. A tag needs a greater than sign. No, the pink jumped. That doesn't mean I broke something. It means I'm right here. This needed to be fixed. But there's more that needs to be fixed. So once we got this fixed, the computer said, wait a minute. Once that's no longer the problem, it notices another problem after it, this thing. And so it's trying to figure out what else is broken. Now, our closing paragraph tag would need a greater than sign, right? Open tag, close tag, open h2 tag, close h2 tag. Always need to match. Onward. Headlining. All right. Fix all the pink. Okay. So, and adjust them to an appropriate size. So, styles of dance. Notice this is pink. Our tags need to match. H3, it's at the very top of a page. I'm going to assume it needs to be the largest font. Now, this is ballet. It has ballet H3. I'm just going to go ahead and make these match again. I guess it could be an H2, but seeing that they use an H3, I'll assume they need a matching H3 tag, not change it more than that. So I find it rather strange that we would have another title size, right? Styles of dance in the center. I bet these are supposed to both be H3s. And it's kind of like reading minds. Oh, boom, boom, boom. That's all closed. No pink. Easy breezy. Add a larger heading. Add a larger heading at the top of the page. Oh, well, that's easy. Catchy large heading. Oh, we just have to add a title. So they have H2s, right? They have subtitles here. But right under the body tag... Because all the content we do, guys, needs to go in between body and body. So under the body tag, let's go ahead and create a title here. Creatures. Oh, I want to think of something cool. Catchy large. Under the sea. I'm going to say under the sea. Under the sea. You need to think of your own title. You can't steal mine. Mine's cool though. Boom. H1 wrapped. We're good to go. And again, all this content's visible on the page. So body and body. Alrighty. Line break. Line breaks, BR tags. Note, use the BR tag to enter line breaks, not to separate paragraphs. Paragraphs, you always want these paragraph tags around. But this BR tag, and it doesn't have an ending tag. It's one of those super weird ones. All you need is this. It creates a line break for special things. Separate each line using a BR tag. Yeah. So apparently this is haiku, but it doesn't need to be separate paragraphs. They just want it split out. So I'll put a BR here. And again, no ending tag and a BR there. Now, I also want to point out because of how HTML and code works, we might have line breaks over here. They're not relevant, right? It will still function the same, even if it's on the same line. Always remember if yours isn't showing up, hit refresh and save. Cool. We did it. Onward.